We are going way back tonight, more than half a century back, to revisit an aircraft that took off in Canada in the late 1970s. The Canadian-made Ultraflight Lazare looks nothing like what we have in the skies today. Didn't look like anything that was in the skies back then either. Uh, Czech got a first glimpse of the twin-engine single-seater in this report from the summer of 1981. This is the Lazare Ultralight aircraft. It weighs only 145 pounds, and it's good for one and a half hours flying time on one gallon of gas. It was built by Doug Beaumont and Mike Creasy of Peninsula Microlight Aviation, who plan to sell the aircraft here. The man flying it is Victor Clare, an aircraft mechanic from Surrey who flies his own Lazare in Surrey. He says the aircraft, which comes in kit form at $4,700, meets all aircraft standards, but it's intended for fun. With this airplane, he says, it's not necessary to have a pilot's license. It's a rush, <laughs> I want to tell you. <laughs> when it's, when it's uh, calm air, it's, uh, it's, it's much nicer. You can cruise uh, uh, quite nicely. I was up for four hours uh, about a week ago, and it was, it was quite nice. But on a day like today, with the amount of turbulence, you have to be well up uh, a 1,000 feet before uh, you get out of the turbulence. Um, it's not as much fun. It, it handles well on turbulence. I'll put in a little plug for the design of the machine. It's because of this has a hard edge, and the, the wing design, uh, it'll cut into turbulence. It'll, it has penetrating power. Are you running into any problems with, say, air traffic control, conflicting with other light aircraft in the air? Well, we stay out of uh, positive control space, um, and even the uh, aerodromes, like an aerodrome like this, uh, with uh, a few aircraft, we'd stay out of the, uh, stay away from it because uh, you get into circuit uh, speed differentials of uh, uh, 50 to 80 miles an hour difference. It's awkward for them, and it's terrifying for us. So. The plane can be put together in about 100 hours. At the moment, the Microlight Owners and Pilots Association is working with the government to come up with a set of regulations to govern the craft, because at the moment, there are none. Island Rewind is brought to you by Arbutus RV. Whatever your adventure, six island locations to serve you.